What's in a name? Plenty if you've been in business in Huntsville for almost seven decades. Huntsville Radio Service Incorporated cut a ribbon at its corporate office this afternoon. The company is adding a new division and will also be known as BizCom, providing tomorrow's business communications today. The event was held to celebrate the company's continued success, customers, partners, and the new division. But one thing that won't change is the company's history. That was some of the first radios that uh, NASA had. This is an old ad from the yeah. 1947 phone book. Right. Well, the that's pretty was good. 462. Four, <laughs> they always called them the brick the because bricks. they were yep. so big and they've gotten smaller and smaller. The offices of Biscom Huntsville Radio are like opening a time capsule of Tennessee Valley communication history. Sig Loeb opened Huntsville Radio Service in 1946. Sig and his brother repaired AM radios in the back of what was a record store on Randolph Avenue in downtown. But what started as a repair service grew into something much bigger. Exactly. So he was, he did great. He was a great businessman, very personable. Beverly Boylan is Sig's daughter. That's her in a photograph with her parents made around the time he started his business. Sig Loeb sold to and installed radios for more police and fire departments across the Tennessee Valley then you can count. As a young woman, Beverly loved being around the shop with her dad. He let her mail out the bills, keep things tidy, and organized. So you cleaned and stuffed envelopes? Yes, yeah, I cleaned and stuffed envelopes. <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> did, did he pay you for that? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, not much. But growing up, there was one thing she didn't like about the radio business. I didn't like turn, talking on the radio. Really? I thought it sounded funny. I saw it. You know, I thought I didn't sound right. So you would have never made a good dispatcher? No, no, I would not have made a good dispatcher. She became a teacher, a career that eventually prepared her for taking over her father's business. They have their own company with all their little employees. Mm -hmm. They have somebody else's budget and somebody else's business plan, and they do amazing things with it. Teachers are amazing. You had good training before you ever walked in. I felt building. I did. I felt I did. When she retired from teaching, she went back to work for her dad. He passed away in 2001 and left the business to his family. Her brothers were ready to retire. I wasn't. I wasn't ready to let go. Beverly took over the company and became president and CEO. She's proud of where they've been. And then we're, we're growing into so many other things. That includes keeping the radio services, but adding Wi-Fi services, secure communications, and in-building services for businesses across the valley. The back of Beverly Boylan's business card says, a woman on small business. She's taken her dad's business and with the help of her brother-in-law and employees, is taking it to a new level. I hope he's proud. <laughs> Another reason for incorporating the BizCom name, some people think that Huntsville Radio is actually a radio station. Believe it or not, they often get calls from people wanting to request a song. She should say, sure, we'll get that right on for right you. On Keep on listening. For you. Yeah. <laughs>